grab this one, John. Yeah, it's all right, mate. Got that gaff. Yeah. Went under the bike. Here he goes. It's got the camera in it. Don't know if there's gonna be any crabs in here. Maybe the camera's not in here. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think um you're putting them in right. That's had chicken in it. Bait's all gone. Mother. Yeah, that'd be right. So that, enough's enough. I said I want to put the camera down in the pod. I don't want to try and find out the culprit of who's taking all the bloody bait. Now, we put a lot of time and effort in trying to catch good food of crabs. We are down here in Mandra, Western Australia. The water quality is quite murky and muddy. Current, there's a strong current going through. And, oh, here we go. We've got puffer fish. Now, I just don't think these guys are capable of opening up that little bait pot because it's pretty well clamped down, but they do come in and try and take the opportunity of getting any bait that's sticking out. They can rip into it, they've got some sharp teeth, almost like a, uh, a beaver kind of teeth, and they'll just like grab it, bait, and try and rip out as much as they can. But I just don't think they're capable of opening the pot. Now we've got the prime suspect and the prime target species, the blue swimmer crab, absolutely fine specimens of a fish sucker. Something I really love eating and catching. Now, at the same time, they are pretty feisty. They've got those two claws. They use those claws to attack, defend themselves, as well as rip out any flesh that's sitting on the bottom, um, especially in pots. Now, I just don't think this guy is capable of opening up that lid to grab all the bait out. But we just have to see what the hell is going on here because he's got that claw right in there. He's saying, look man, I'm not gonna give up. I want as much bait as possible. I am using chicken wings. As you can see, they're a little bit exposed there. It's probably a bit of a skin. And he's gonna do his best to get his share of the loot. <laughs> he, he knows he's under surveillance. He just took a swipe of the camera. And I don't know if he's uh, prepared to, uh, to stand the facts that He's not the biggest species down there. There's always one bigger, but he's just still grabbing on that pot. He's not letting go. He's gonna try and grab as much of that bait as possible, throw it in his mouth and chew on it. But he's sitting there. He's just oblivious of what's surrounding him. You can see the other fish have already looted off. There's one there in the background. The water's starting to get a bit dirty up. There's a bit of current. Bit of movement that could mean that there's something else lurking down there you can see he's got that chicken wing in his mouth he just took a nice big chomp yummo and he's pretty relaxed most species are pretty relaxed when i got a bit of bit of tucker in their gob and he's just saying yep no dramas life is good As I said, there's always something bigger out there. <laughs> and I'm just curious to see what's going to happen next because, uh, I don't know, he's not able to grab that ball. Hang on. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Is that Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street? No. This is an alien. Close counters of the third kind. No, it is. Oh, something capable of sucking up that bait pot lid. Hey, that's a stingray. 
That's a massive stingray. So he caught red-handed. There you go. Look, he plied up the lid. He's got his fair share of the loot, and he's just going for it. Oh, there you go. Oh, you dropped a bit. <laughs> you dropped a bit, mate. But at the same time, I found him red-handed. Red-handed. So there he goes. He takes off. He doesn't know what the hell's going on. He's took his loot. Thanks very much for coming. So now I found out what's going on. Next time, I'll be more careful. Try and grab a nice bag of crabs. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. See ya. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker, man. Fish, tucker. Fish, tucker. The fish, tucker, man.